Greetings and welcome to this presentation on how to use ICPSR to find data sets for data analysis. All right, let's um, start at the Carthage Library page and we're going to scroll down until we get to this part that says Get Help and it says Search the Hedberg Library Catalog. Go ahead and click on that. Then we're going to go here for All Electronic Resources. We know that it starts with an I. So click the letter I, and here it is, ICPSR, the Inter-University Consortium for Political and Social Research. So ICPSR is hosted at the University of Michigan, and what it essentially is is a repository for data sets. So if you do research that the government pays for, you can't just hoard the data for yourself. You have to share it somewhere, and ICPSR is one of the places that you can share your data if you've collected it using government funds or any other funds and you just want to share it. So we're going to start by clicking here for Find Data and click again for Find Data. All right, two primary ways to look for data within ICPSR. One is to search using a search box and the other is to browse either by topic or series or something else. You would also see what's popular recently and so on. You might want to click here and see some of the search tips. So, for example, if you're interested in income and health in China, you just type those three words. But if you wanted a specific term, um, such as income distribution, you want to put quotes around that. Otherwise, it's going to look for income and distribution separately. So, let's start out by saying that maybe we wanted to determine whether a college degree actually has some influence on your income. All right, you might not want to start out by having a too specific of a goal in mind because sometimes you might not find exactly what you're looking for and you might find something even more interesting as you go along. All right, so it's, it's found a number of things for us. You'll notice that this first one says it's a simulation, so that's not really what I'm going to be interested in. I do know too that the one that's um, the Gates Foundation isn't available. One of the things that you'll notice is that some of these are old, right? So from 1981, 1993, maybe that isn't what you want. So you've got some number of refinements here on the left. So I can choose the time period to be, for example, from 2010 to 2020. Keep in mind that you won't find too super recent of data because it takes people a while to do their studies and then they put their data out here. So I'm going to click Submit. That's going to um, make it so that these are more recent data. And if, for example, you only wanted things that were in the United States, you could click on Geography and choose only United States. So it tells you that there are 610 results. Um, hard to know exactly how to sort this. But like I said, this one's a simulation, so we're going to ignore this one. But so here's an interesting um, item that I've looked at before. The CBS News, New York Times, 60 Minutes, Vanity Fair, National Poll from 2012. Not super recent, but it is super interesting. So let's take a look at this. Once you open something, you'll find that there are a number of tabs. The first tab is at a glance, and that shows you a general description and also the citation. You're going to want to know this, right? So in a paper, if you're indicating what database you used, um, what data repository you used, this is the citation. You can copy and paste this and include it in the sources for your paper. Okay. Besides that, there's, going, there's a tab on data and documentation that will tell you a little bit about that. Also, variables is really important. So if you click on the variables tab, you can look up, for example, is there a variable called income or a variable called something to do with income? Chances are on some of these that have gazillions of variables, there might well be. So this one has a couple, three different questions, your standard income, your New York Times income, and income over 250K. So if you wanted to see, this would show you your standard income, would show you information about that. Um, so here were the different options, right? So if a person entered a one, means they made less than 15,000. If a person entered a five, it means they 
um, made over 75,000. Um, if they entered a nine, it meant that they decl declined to answer, right? So um, you can also look, for example, for um, degree. Let's look for that one. And you'll find that there is one for postgraduate degree, completed degree and certification, post degree loan, gone to school, education. Let's take a look at this one, education. And this one would indicate if you're not a high school graduate, you're a high school graduate, some college, blah, blah, blah. So you could download this and you could correlate those two things, the education that the person has with the income that they indicate that they had. Now remember that the income only went up to 75,000. So um, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a low end scale. But while you're in here, you may wanna look at some of these other, um, let's just hit the back button, some of these other uh, variables because there's super funny stuff in here. Let's just view them all. So when you go back to here, you can just blank out the thing that you were searching for and hit go. And it will go back and it will show you all of the different um, things that are in here, your age group, your opinion about bankruptcy and student loans, how often you barbecue, whether it's diff more difficult to be a father today than it used to be, um, and so on and so on. There's a zillion things. They're in alphabetical orders. So, you know, what congressional district are you in? What day of the week did you take this? What do you think about the health? care law and so on and so on. So once you've decided that the database that you're looking at actually has the information that you want in it, then now you'll go to the download um, item right here. So I'm going to click download and I'm going to choose the delimited one because you're going to be analyzing this with Excel and that would be the one that would work the best. If you're an SPSS person, you can choose the SPSS format. Not all database downloads have the same available formats, but we're going to choose the delimited one. At some point, you may need to log in, or you may not. Um, at some point, you will need to agree to the terms and conditions of this. Sometimes you've got a promise of confidentiality, and so on and so on. For a class project, it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to click on Agree, and it's going to start my download. I'm going to go ahead and call it something more catchy, like poll underscore results, so that I know what it was. I want to make sure that I keep track of where it's going. So here it's going into my downloads folder. Note that it's a dot zip. So you won't be able to just open this file directly in um, Excel, but you should be able to find it. So I'm going to now, and I'm using Windows, but I'm going to go to my downloads folder and I'm going to notice that when I hit refresh and I see that here are my poll results. Now I'm going to double click on this. Remember that it's zipped right now so I need to extract it and I'm just going to take whatever it is but notice that it's still going to stay in downloads and I'm going to extract that folder. Okay. So here I have my ICPSR folder and inside my poll results folder, and my data is almost certainly going to be down in one of these things. Um, a lot of times they'll be called a TSV, which is probably a tab separated um, data file. So what I need to do is open Excel. If I double click on it, it's going to ask me to choose a bunch of apps that aren't the right ones. I'm going to open a brand new one. I'm going to click File and Open. I'm going to click this PC. I'm going to choose Downloads, not Documents, Downloads. And so here is my poll results. Remember, I went to the ICPSR folder inside this one. Okay, none of this will show up unless I've already extracted the zip file. Nothing shows up here. Why? Well, because it's looking for Excel files. And remember that this was not an Excel file. So I need to choose all files. And I'm going to see that there is a TSV. That's the one I want. I double click on it. And it's going to start this import process. 
it's going to ask me is this delimited or fixed width? It's delimited. Remember that the T stood for tab, the S stands for separated. My data file, it's showing you what it is here, does have headers because the headers are going to tell you what the variables are, right? And I click next. Then it's going to say, okay, what's your delimiter? My delimiter is a tab, which is the T again, and it's going to start to show me how it's going to separate this out. So rather than looking like a jumbled pile of letters, this actually is going to look like data. And um, I don't want to check this box on consecutive delimiters, and I want to click next. Then it's going to ask me about date formats or something. I'm just going to go ahead and take general, and I'm going to click finished. And this is going to show me um, all of the stuff. Now I need to go back to the variables description so that I know what those variables were that I was interested in, income and so forth. All right, so let's go back for a moment, back to ICPSR. We're going to go ahead and actually return to the study homepage so that we can begin to look at the variables and find out other things. All right, let's use a couple more examples. Let's say I was going to go back to find data and I want to browse by topic, I may want to, for example, look at census data. There are all kinds of different things here, things about violence, things about economics, things about education, and so on. But let's take a look at census. Now, one of the things I thought looked really interesting in here was the American Time Use Survey. And again, I could, I could limit it by time period so that I eliminated a lot of the older things. But let's go ahead and look at the American Time Use Survey. This is how people spend their time, right? So when I come into here, again, here's the description. Remember, here's the citation that you can use for your paper. And then I can look at variables and see, for example, whether, um, does this have anything to do about income? I'm not sure why I'm fixated on income today, but I am. So I'm looking at income. And so here are some things, the family income, for example. And then how could I possibly spend my time um, that I think is constructed and might make me a smarter, wealthier person? How much time do I spend reading? Or do I spend time reading? So under reading for variables, so here's, remember that later on you're going to need to know that this is T150103 is the variable that you're looking for. And this was done in 2011. Okay, so reading, reading for personal interest, reading to and with your own children, and so on and so on. How about gaming? So maybe I want to try to prove that people that spend time reading are more wealthy than people who spend time playing video games. Imagine that. So here's playing games. They don't differentiate between like board games and card games and video games. They do differentiate between computer use for leisure, which excludes games, and so on and so on. So if you decided that you wanted this particular study as something to download, again, go back to the at a glance, or you don't have to, but here you can download it from here. Remember that you want the delimited version. Not going to walk you through that whole thing again. Okay, one more thing that you might want to do is when you go to find data, you can also pick by thematic data collections. So um, disability to enable policy, child and family data archive, and so on and so on and so on. These are all different ways to explore the different kinds of data that is out there, right? So here's something on aging, um, National Archive data on arts and cultures. So if you wanted to look up something there, remember to always be looking for things that have some kind of downloadable data. Once in a while, you may find something that's not available um, or something that you just can't get to. Hopefully that'll be helpful to you. Um, thanks. And if you have any questions, you can always find me. Um, I should be on the live guide page. Let's go back to it actually for math. So here, if you went to subject and class guides, and you went to mathematics. And the math research guide. This is a great place to find different things. Here's a link to ICPSR. And if you needed to book some time with me to um, find something, whether it be a paper or a data set or an article or a book or something, you click there for book now. 
You can always um, email help at carthage.edu and explain what it is you're looking for and someone will help you. Thank you. Bye.